Welcome. I am the Faceless, and today we are going to explore the Canadian cryptid known as Manapogo. So be sure to hit that subscribe button for more creepy entertainment just like this. In Canadian folklore, the Manapogo is a lake monster said to lurk in Lake Manitoba, Manitoba, Canada. The creature was dubbed Manapogo in 1960, echoing British Columbia's very own lake monster, Ogopogo. There is also a Lake Winnipegosis sea monster called Winnipego, thought possibly to be the same creature as the lakes are connected. Manapogo is described as being 4 to 15 meters long and is described as a long muddy brown body with humps that show above the water and a sheep-like head. The cryptid is quite popular with the public, as there is a provincial park on the west shore of Lake Manitoba named Manapogo Provincial Park, and St. Laurent, a community on the southeast shores of Lake Manitoba, holds a Manapogo festival the first week of March every year. The local native population has legends of serpent-like creatures in Lake Manitoba going back hundreds of years. The creature plays a role in indigenous myth and spirituality, and has been brought to life in paintings by Norval Morisot. Tales of seeing Manapogo, first, second, and third hand, have been told in Manitoba for generations, and every summer they seem to take on new life, further entrenching themselves in the province's folklore. Much like the serpent that purportedly lurks within the Loch Ness in Scotland. In the early 1960s, Professor James A. McLeod at the University of Manitoba investigated the creature by trying to locate its remains. If there is a breeding population in a lake, carcasses and bones should remain after death. McLeod found nothing in his exploration. Despite an absence of solid evidence to suggest that such a creature ever existed, children in the province's inner lake region grow up learning and laughing about it. Some grow up wary of swimming, convinced the monster is actually out there. We have this desire for mystery and knowing the unknowable, says Chris Rakowski, a Winnipeg science writer known for his work on UFOs and the author of Unnatural History, True Manitoba Mysteries. We look out to the waters that are impenetrable and imagine things that are either scary or something that's calling to us. There is even an element of disbelief or distrust in science. There have been many reported sightings of a beast in Lake Manitoba documented as early as 1909 and as recent as 2011. And they all seem to be reports of the same thing. A serpent-like beast with many humps emerging and then submerging in the water seen offshore of local beaches, sometimes making a prehistoric type of dinosaur noise. With that being said, whether Manapogo is real or not, it certainly has made an impact on the culture of the local people of Manitoba, and the dozens of sightings cannot be ignored. But what do you think? Is the Manapogo real? Is there something else lurking in those waters? Or is it all just simply made up folklore for the local people's entertainment? Let me know in the comments below. And until next time, don't go into the dark alone.